Hi, this is Philip. I'm the co-founder and CEO here at Sales Wings. And I would like to show you right now how you can configure the lead and the contact view with Sales Wings data after you've installed our Salesforce package. So I will show you an example on a contact, but of course you need to do this step for contact and for leads. Since it's exactly the same thing, uh, I'm just going to show you for contacts. So what you want to do first is open a contact and then click here edit layout. In the edit layout area you can add all the sales wings fields and sections in order to get the data where, where you need it. So we're going to go a little bit down and what we do first is we're going to create a new section which I'm going to take up here, pull down here and I'm going to call that sales wings. All the rest I can keep. And to make it easy for you, what you can do then is you can go up here to this quick find and you just type SW. And SW will show you all sales wings fields that are uh, available. You don't need to add all of these. What you want to add, of course, is the sell sales wings temperature. That's the lead score. You also want to add uh, sales wings since last visit. So that's going to show you a format like last Monday, last week. You also want to add Sales Wings favorite. It's going to show you if you have the notifications activated or not. And of course, you'd also want to add Sales Wings total website visits. These are the four fields I recommend. Some of the others are just needed internally, but these are the ones that you should definitely add. The ne next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Visual Force pages. Sales Wings also comes with a very user-friendly way uh, to see the interest and the nature of the interest. And what we're going to do now is again, so we go to Visual Force pages, we take a section, and we're going to add a section right below the Sales Wings, the Sales Wings section. We're going to call this, for example, well. Um, you know, website interest summary. This is how you can call it. It's really up to you. And in terms of layout, make sure to choose only one column because this is a, a full width field that we're going to add. Once we've added this, we're going to take here, it's called lead intent contact page. Uh, we're going to change that. So it's also going to, it's going to be called SW uh, lead intent, but now we just call it this way. So you pull it down here. Once you've pulled it down here, you need to do a couple of things. You just need to go here to the properties. You need to make sure that the height in pixels is 500 to give it enough space. And you need to enable show scroll bars right there. So you can scroll the entire iframe. That's all you need to do. And you click OK. The last thing we're, the last thing we're adding is a list of all the visited web pages, which are Salesforce objects. So you just go here to related lists, you go here to sales wings and you pull this down at the list section and you add this here. There you go. It's by default adding uh, a bunch of different fields. So what you can do is what I recommend strongly is again, you adapt these properties here. The only thing you want to keep is the page, the page visit count, and since last visit. These are the key fields you want to have. What you can also do is you can sort by, I usually sort by page visit count descending to have the page on top which has been visited the most and that has triggered the most interest by the lead. And you click OK. And that's it. Don't forget to save. Yes. And you will now see all the sales wings fields properly populated here. You can see the interest summary. And if you go down, you can also see all the page visits as objects. Okay, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye bye.